the second grade go math lesson 7.4 and today we're going to show amounts and that's amounts of money in two ways so it says use coins show the amounts in two ways draw and label the coins so we have 39 cents and we have two boxes in these two areas here um, we are going to make 39 cents two different ways now um, we're going to go ahead and get started so um, I always add, try to tell my students, ask yourself, can you use a quarter? Do you have more than 25 cents? So if the answer is yes, we're going to make a quarter. And I don't know how much I'm going to use, so I'm just going to start my first coin up here. And I'm going to do a running total below it, just so I keep track. The book doesn't necessarily say anything about doing a running total. It's something I do with my students that I think helps. If I think about it, what's, and now if I add another quarter, that would be 50. So I know if my next uh, my next biggest coin would be a dime. So 10 plus 25 would be 35. So I can use a dime. So I have a dime here. I'm going to make this 35 here. Now, uh, can I? My, I can't use another dime because that would be 45. If I use another nickel, that would be 40 and it'd still be too large. So I, now I need to use pennies. So I know that would be 36. 37, 38, 39. So I'm going to just write that here as well to show that I know what the value is. And I add these together, and now I have 39 cents. So there is one way to make that. Now, if I'm going to look at my second way to make that, and I used the largest coins I could on this. So what I'm going to look for my second way is which one of these coins can I break apart to make a different, um, to use the coins a different way. Um, so I look, I can't break apart pennies because they're always as small as they can go. I could either break apart my dime into two nickels because five plus five would equal ten. Or I could break my quarter up in many different ways. I could use two dimes and a nickel. I could use five dimes. So ask the students to be creative and try to think of a, a way that is different. So um, I'm going to break um, I'm going to break the dime up into two nickels instead this time. So I'm going to keep my quarter. So I have 25 cents. Now instead of using the dime, I'm going to use two nickels. So now I have uh, 30 and 35. And I could check that. Right when I got the dime, I had 35. So now all I need to add is my pennies because I can't use something else for that. One, oops, one, <laughs> almost put two, one, and then one. Because I'm just each one of these is worth one, and that's why I, I didn't count up with those. So that's 36, 37, 38 and then 39 and that's how you show amounts in two ways